hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here i'm solishai sakem and you're welcome to the family thank you for tuning in and thanks to my returning subscribers too please don't forget to subscribe and click on that post notification so you'll be notified whenever i upload another video so today we are going to be doing a goosey pudding and i am just going to show you the things that we'll be needing for this recipe so as you can see on the table those are all the recipe or all the ingredients that we'll be needing first of all we'll need salt and some chopped beef it is already steamed some chopped boiled eggs some grounded crayfish and on this plate I have my seasoning cube some dried pepper and one egg this egg isn't cooked next of course i have the goosey and in that bowl i have three and a half cups of a goosey and then i have my meat stock i have a cup and a half in that bowl next in this bowl i have my dry fish in the meat stock so i decided to put it in the meat stock so that the it can also get the taste from the meat stock because i actually use some ginger garlic white pepper seasoning cube salt to steam my meat next of course we'll be needing some parchment paper and foil paper to tie the egg put them so after seeing all the ingredients the next thing will be to start to mix so the first thing i'm going to put inside will be the water from the fish which is the meat stock so when doing a goosey pudding the main thing that makes your goosey pudding to really taste is your meat stock so when you're boiling or you're steaming your meat you want to make sure that you put enough water and enough ingredients to make it tasty so I'm going to mix that and make sure everything is combined. Be careful, you know, um, a goosey isn't like granite. So when you put too much water in a goosey, it will make it too watery. So as you're mix mixing it, you want to add the meat stock to it little by little until you get the consistency that you are okay with not too soft not too hard next i'm also going to add the other meat stock but i'm not going to put it all at once i'm just going to add a part of it like i earlier said you don't want to put everything together so i'm going to mix that for everything to combine and i will keep adding the stock until i am satisfied with the consistency of the pudding So guys, at this point, I have mixed everything and I'm okay with the texture or the consistency rather. So right now, I'm going to add some seasoning cube in it because the one from the meat isn't enough. So this is what you want to do. You first mix with your meat stock, you taste and to see if you need to add some seasoning cubes or some salt. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just adding it after which I will add some of the dry pepper 
I don't eat too much pepper, so you just you can add the pepper to your taste. If you eat too much pepper, you can add more. If you don't eat too much pepper like me, then yeah. And you want to give it a good stir until everything is combined. Next, you add the crayfish and mix thoroughly until everything is combined. After mixing that, the next thing you want to add will be the dry fish. And after adding the dry fish, you also mixed. Mix very well until everything is combined. The next thing to add will be the meat. And then again, you mix very well until everything is well combined. So guys, at this point, everything is well mixed, the taste is okay. The next thing we'll be adding will be the egg. I know you're wondering why egg. When you add the egg, it helps to give, um, it gives it this fluffy texture. So that's why I'm adding one egg. It's optional, you don't have to put it. And again, you don't get the taste of the egg inside. So after you crack the egg, you also want to give it a good stir until it is well mixed and combined mix it very well take your time and mix it very well until you don't even see the egg yolk again you just see the egusi pudding like the pudding <laughs> the pudding mixture So guys, after mixing, it's time to tie. I have my parchment paper and my fuel paper. The fuel paper is underneath and the parchment paper is on top. So right now, I'm going to put the pudding on it. When you're putting it, try not to put too much at once because when it is cooking it swells up so you don't want to put too much on it next i'm going to take the boiled eggs <laughs> and i will be adding just some part of it to it like that as you can see And then I'm going to wrap this and this is how I'm going to repeat I am going to do the same thing until everything is wrapped make sure you also wrap it very well so that water will not go into it so guys, I'm done tying everything together and I'm going to cook this for an hour 30 minutes. Yes, I said an hour 30 minutes because a goosey, if it is not well cooked, it can cause diarrhea and you want to avoid that. You don't want to have your egusi pudding and then when it's not well cooked, you have diarrhea. So while cooking it, I'll be checking if it is okay you can see i have my small bundle prepared <laughs> so that after an hour 15 minutes or so i will check to see if it is cooked so sometimes you can just cook it for one hour normally you cook for one hour but i want to cook it more to be on the safe side so i'm going to add water from the start i'm going to add two of these bowls and while it's cooking you always want to check when the water is dry, you add another. That's how you cook it and um, you add water bit by bit. This bowl, this is how I'll be doing the measurement of the water. When the first one gets dry, I will add another two bowls until it is cooked. So guys, 
it's been one hour 30 minutes and the pudding is ready so guys that's how the pudding looks like isn't that delicious look at the texture it's not too soft it's not too hard and i can tell you it's so delicious thank you very much if you've been watching till this moment and please do me a favor subscribe and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share it with friends and leave a comment below on maybe how you cook yours and if you have any further question i will put the ingredients used for this recipe in the description box below and i will see you in my next video god bless you bye, -bye.